Hey, it's Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and we're back with another list of homes. I think there's uh, eight properties today. It's been a nice sort of baseline over the last week or so, nice, consistent, sort of six to 12 homes. That's the perfect amount, in my opinion. So if you are in town for the weekend, you want to come for a tour, just sign up over here, uh, leave your name and information and what day and time you want to go on a tour, and uh, we'll make sure that happens for you. It's not necessarily designed to find the perfect home. It's something where you can get familiar with the kinds of homes and areas, and even if Milton's really right for you. And we do have people on the tour that are, are looking right now, but it's not a requirement. The more upstream you are, the more beneficial I think it is because now you're seeing stuff in person that you're actually seeing online. So go check that out. And in the meantime, let's get right to this list of homes. We've got eight of them. And uh, the first one up is 341 Wilson, number eight. It's at 2149. I like seeing these condo townhomes in the teen range. We haven't seen that in a long, long time, and it's a welcome uh, change for buyers. So it's a three-bedroom, two-washroom. It's a flexible closing. Uh, the big caution with this one is you're, you're looking at electric baseboard heat, which could um, unmonitored, meaning if you're if you're not focused on on sort of controlling the heat in only the rooms you're using could probably double your heating bill. So it's something to think about. Finished basement, maintenance fees are all sort of within line of what you'd expect. Uh, the nice thing about this complex, there's an outdoor pool, which uh, which is a great feature if you've got kids. And so yeah, so there you go. That would be the one caution is the heating, but wait for the pictures. But I'll tell you what, it's a pretty good deal there. And uh, I think it'll go pretty fast. So Burroughs Gate is at 272.9. And this is a, uh, it's one of the smaller models. It's a freehold townhome. It's a Mad Me one. And what's it called? An Ashfield, a Berry Hill, about 1050 square feet. The kitchen, that's that actually makes it look bigger. It doesn't feel that big when you're inside of it, but it's a nice shot. I mean, I think that the, uh, the cupboards are nice. They've got some hardwood floors here. And there's two bedrooms upstairs and one bathroom. No backyard, you just have the balcony there. And there's some more pictures in the virtual tour, but I think that this one is priced right around where it needs to be. The midpoint on these ones is generally high 260s, 270 maybe with the hardwood floor. That That's probably what's going to push this one over, three, or over 270. So good deal. I like it. It's exactly where it should be. Gowling is at 359. And it looks like kind of a Lake Point model. I don't know how big it is. It's a three... Uh, bedroom, two washrooms, so only one full bathroom upstairs. It looks like there's one big room here. Crown molding, pot lights. It looks cluttered though. There's a lot of stuff in here and it's like sort of, you know, the table and, and the I would have taken these chairs out. I find it would have just given it a nice, simple, clean look. Take the painting out. I know it's great to live in. It's eclectic. It looks good. But when you sell it, there's too much stuff happening in this room. And there's the kitchen there. Again, a lot of stuff. Taking it off the counters makes a huge, huge difference. Uh, you've got the microwave up here, which doesn't match these things, but it's a gas range. And they've probably put that island in extra. And so now you've got the master, and it looks like the floors have been updated upstairs. This one feels really small. One thing I did see in the description is that you've got uh, a laundry on the main floor. I don't know where they'd stick that, probably by the front entrance. Um, I would guess this one's probably 13 something square feet. Uh, it probably looks better in person, but you gotta see past all the stuff inside. At this price, at 360, I think they're getting killed by just bigger homes with, in some ways, more features that we've profiled even over the last week or two. Now, Scott Boulevard, this is a Millmont, and I'm not sure how big it is. I think it's between 17 and 1800 square feet, um, and it's a four-bedroom, three-washroom, semi-detached. For 400, I'm calling, kind of going, mm. I mean, there was a gorgeous South Brion Hepburn that just, it sold uh, in the last month or so at 390. So, and this one to me doesn't look like anything better than that. Um, in some ways, it's smaller and, and not as good. So I'm having a real tough time swallowing the fact that these guys want 399 for it. I don't think it's the right price. And again, Scott, to me, is uh, is not the ideal street to uh, to be purchasing, especially kind of a record breaking price for the model. Now it looks like it's Energy Star Appliances. I don't know if the home is Energy Star. There are a fair amount of homes in that area that do have the Energy Star rating. 
Now, uh, McDuff is at three ninety nine. So there you go. So would you rather have that other home or would you have a home that's probably about the same size this is 1820 square feet for a fully detached home still with some decent upgrades so this one's 399 carpet inside you get a coffered ceiling there's the living dining there's the kitchen and it looks nice the pictures really really show up well in this mismatched appliances there but a good overall impression the complaint on this model is there's not a lot of storage space there's not a lot of closet in the master that's a big big complaint on this one here mcduff's a good street there's a couple it's close to a couple parks you can walk to hawthorne village public school and guardian angels and i like it again the same model on clark not as upgraded low 380s so you're talking about this one here on a quieter street and um and a couple nice features inside so they they did a good job on this one i think they've uh got it where it needs to be Dymot just sold last night actually my clients scooped it up before anybody else that was listed within hours, we had the offer in. It's a good little home, double car garage, four bedroom, and uh, just had it where it counted. So if you're if you're going on MLS.ca, you're contacting people, and the stuff is selling before you even have a chance to go look at it, you need to really get someone who's on top of things. And you know we're obviously able to do that. Um, what can I say? Good home, but it's already sold. I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> Because sometimes people don't know it's sold until it actually gets uh, updated. Now, McCready is uh, is a nice little street. It's in Milton Trails. And these guys were sort of hovering. Here's the story on this one. These guys were hovering at like 580s. I don't know, it's 89 or 79. And a, a same model, very similar features. Dropped their price down once, twice. They, they dropped it down to 525 and and it was insane it was a huge drop it uh, it ended up selling for a lot lower than anyone thought so now these guys are following that same path okay so they eventually have come to the reality is that they're not that sort of 570 580 is not working they're down to 539 i don't know if that's going to be enough but it is a very very nice home there is the front living room and then you've got kitchen open up to the uh, the family and they've added some walls in here normally this is really open the walls really give a good separation of space there's a nice little uh, like a granite or a marble piece there it's a nice looking home it's very the, the kitchen's great the complaint that I have from this one the the masters decent it's kind of long and narrow but the other three bedrooms are actually really small there's a shot of the family room above the garage hardwood floor so it's definitely got some upgrades a little juliet balcony right there and uh, there's a decent size yard and like i said mccready's good street i don't know if this will be enough based on the other sale but that could have been lower they're, they're in shooting range now i think at least they'll get noticed in this range now thomas is at 1.6 and it's gorgeous this might be one of the best homes in all of old milton it's uh, it's right in the downtown part. There's beautiful mature trees. I mean, even just the craftsmanship on the outside. Like if you were to, to actually go see this in person, all these intricate details. I mean, this is a beautiful house inside. Uh, it's been lovingly maintained and restored. It's uh, an exceptional home. Some nice sort of modern features in a very traditional style kitchen. I mean, you could probably put this on a magazine tour. This is gorgeous stuff. Look at the clawfoot tub. Oh man, gorgeous. And there's a triple car garage with a loft upstairs. So if you have a home-based business or anything like that, uh, having the ability to run that out of your house but not in your house is a great thing. So this one here, the, the issue with a home like this is that people have options. And you could live in Oakville. You could buy a gorgeous home in Oakville. In Mississauga, you go down to Lorne Park, some of the real prestigious areas. In Toronto, you could buy an absolutely delicious home there. So it really comes down to who would want this home and live in Milton. Like who who has, is there enough of a draw to Milton for somebody to want to pony up the cash? Because it really is on the bell curve. It's right at the end. It's sort of the extreme edge of, um, you know, in the country, this is kind of normal, but in, in the city, it's just, that's not usually where properties stand. So that's, what's going to be their biggest, um, 
their biggest holdback from selling is finding the right buyer who is willing to live a little bit further from the city and still pay this kind of money and not have water or anything like that. So anyway, so that's the list for today. And if you have any questions, give us a call. And like I said at the beginning of the video, come out for a tour. You're going to learn a whole lot of stuff. Just sign up right on the site. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.